Thursday's storm dumped as much as 17 inches of snow on parts of Boston, and as people continue to dig out, they have to do it in dangerous cold. WBZ's Lisa Greshi has that part of the story tonight. Cars covered in mounds of snow, neighbors still digging themselves out. The first thing that goes to our mind is uh, the car, and if when we're going to have to dig it out. We found Rob Mountain doing just that. Digging his car out from what seemed like a mountain of snow. Yeah, it was totally covered. The wind helped kind of move it, uh, some of it around, but it was, you know, up to the window basically. Mountain says the freezing temperatures didn't help. He layered up and got ready to spend over an hour freeing his car from the snow. It's a tedious task many of his neighbors in the back bay and all over Boston still have to do. Amongst those shoveling out volunteers at the American Red Cross Food Pantry so people can come in and get what they need. I've been here for 14 years and this is what I see. I mean, the cold doesn't stop them when they need food. And this is why we're here. Volunteers shoveled out the sidewalks trying to make a tough situation a little easier. It's not an easy situation, so we just hope and pray that they make it, and when they do, they're going to come right in and we're going to serve them. With single-digit highs today, families in need are top of mind. I'm thinking of the grandmothers who have to take care of their grandchildren. I'm thinking of the single parents. I'm thinking of the children, just everybody. If necessary, these volunteers are willing to give much more than food. We're just going to make sure that you're taken care of. We have uh, blankets. We have volunteers that brought them blankets. And, and if they need it, if need be, we're going to give it to them. Reporting in Boston, Lisa Grashy, WBZ News.